Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix here, and if everything goes according to plan, um, this should be the beginning, the beginning of episode 15 of Kirby's Epic Yarn, and I'm actually back in Sweets Park right now, as you can see. And I need to go and get that treasure. Thank you guys in the comments for telling me where to get that treasure. Uh, it's, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't actually, like, see it in the video or in video editing or anything. I guess, I guess I'm just blind or something. But yeah, it's actually just in this area, this area that is infamous, that or that I've made infamous to myself, <laughs> which is really stupid. Uh, but it's infamous as, like, the New Super Mario Bros. Wii copy section. And yeah, so we have to get past these falling sponge cake, or these falling flan. I don't know, people were calling it flan in, like, the last episode, in the last episode's comments. And, like, they, the, people were wondering, yeah, here it is, this is where it is. Let's just see what it is. It's a donut pillow. This delicious looking cushion would be at the at home in a cafe. At home in a cafe. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, anyways, yeah, these people were like arguing whether this was flan or sponge cake or whatever. And I can honestly say that I don't know what flan is, so it's sponge cake to me. <laughs> and that's my justification right there. That's the worst argument ever, but it works for me. Alright, people are actually saying that you can't get, like, crushed and killed by these sponge cakes, so I'm just gonna see if that's true or not. Oh, I guess you can't. <laughs> Alright, so thanks guys for telling me about all that stuff. Let's move on with the actual episode now. Alright, let's see if this strategy actually works here. Because I've known about this attack, like, I, I, I know about the attack. Like, how you can just tap the button and it'll unravel them, but I didn't know that you get beads out of the guys this way. Let's see. Holy crap! Dude! That's so much more useful, what the heck? Okay. Well, jeez, man. That makes this a ton easier. I feel so, so stupid now. So freaking stupid. Watch, I'm gonna get this on like the first try now, watch. This is just gonna be absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm such a dumbass. <laughs> Why didn't I try that before in the 40 minutes that I had to do it before? Oh. Wow. I am really, really dumb. Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here. Welcome to the episode up oh, I actually that already happened at the beginning of the episode, didn't it? Oh yeah. Sorry about all those like like those two clips at the beginning of the episode. Um I actually just had to go back and show those things. Well I didn't have to, but I really wanted to. Especially, like, since I did the stupidest thing ever. Um, I'll tell you about it in just a second, I actually. Well, actually, I can tell you about it while I'm doing this, can't I? Alright, so, yeah. Like, I was going over to copy my file so that, like, I could have, like, a backup file in case of whatever, I don't know. But when I went to copy the file and, like, start recording, I copied the wrong file. So I copied, like, my old file, the one, like, that was, like, two episodes ago, and... I put it over my recent file, so I had to play all the way back through that again, and it's just, ah, oh, well now I'm back anyways, and we actually did have the furniture to finish this room, people told me about that, and this is Carrie, what an awesomely cute apartment, is anyone living here? Wonderful, wonderful, another happy tenant, thank you Lord Kirby. Another happy tenant, a butler's job is never done. Alright, so yeah, now I'm back up to where I was at, hopefully. Um, my bead count is different, obviously. And I showed everything that I wanted to show. So now that I ha let's actually just start this episode. Uh, we're probably going to have to do a few of these carry stages here. So we might not get to the boss of uh, Treatland in this video. But we might, on the other hand. Alright, I forget how to do this. Oh, we have to carry carry, obviously. <laughs> so we have to carry her to like a certain point and level a certain goal. And basically, that's all you have to do. It's kind of just like a speed run type thing. Uh, yeah, and you can't actually use carry to like th throw at these blocks and like destroy them or anything. Just got a carrier. It's not very hard. Like these challenges, I remember them not posing too much of difficulty. Uh, wait, how do I do that? Oh yeah, just use this thing. Do it. Alright, I do want that star up there. So give me another one. Give me another water drop, please. Jeez, these are like those things in Kirby 64, you know, in like that one level, um, it's in Neostar, I think. 
you know, like, go on the minecart, and I don't know, it's, there's, there's, like, weird enemies that, like, come down from the ceiling that are just little, little drops of water with, like, a little red spot inside of them. Alright, oh yeah, this is kind of weird, like, oh, crap. Hey, uh, when I first came to this, I actually failed the challenge right here, because I didn't know there was a platform right there. It's not very obvious, actually. And you have to, like, throw her up there, because you can't actually climb the ladder with her, obviously. So there you go, that's how you do that. And watch out for that spear. I could just tell that if I kept going there and floated down, it would have floated right into the spear. Alright, what's in this? Ooh, star! And some other little, little bits. Little star bits. Little beads, I mean. Not star. <laughs> We're not playing Super Mario Galaxy here, hello. Alright, we actually gotta get her up there first. Yeah, this can get kinda tedious, so... Or you can just toss her clear over that stack of things. The stack of shit. That works too. Man, it's been a long time since I've played this level. This is like the very first level. Jeepers. Alright, and I think we're just about at the end, because I have th we have this royal blue carpet here. So we should- Oh crap! Oh my god! I'm d- Dude! I'm not gonna make it! Holy shit! Oh, go! G crap! Did I seriously just lose that? <laughs> What a freaking dumbass I am! Oh my, I wasn't even looking at the time, I thought I just had like, plenty left. Well, I guess it's a lesson, don't go for the beads in these levels, otherwise you'll get screwed over. Man, I don't, that was really, just, that was, <laughs> I just can't believe that happened. And this is like a one star difficulty rating too, so like, just, what? Oh my goodness. Alright, so let's see the speed run of this now. Let's actually do it. And Minu, don't... Minu, don't interrupt me right now. I'm in the middle of doing stuff. Please. Okay, so we gotta... Well, I suppose I can get these beads, or at least a few of them. Sure, just leave two at the bottom of that pool. Why not? Whatever, man. Alright, yeah, so apparently you actually do have to be quite a bit faster than I thought you did here. Jeez. I still can't believe- that was just the stupidest thing I've ever done, practically. That was horrible. Well, whatever. Uh, now I know better, and knowing is half the battle. Alright, here. See, now we're here with plenty more time to spare. I was down to like five seconds when I was here before, and this is where I started panicking. I'm like, oh no, go, 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 ooh, and then I died. Oh, I have to- okay. Well, this makes sense. <clears throat> Gotta get off that first. There we go. I don't know why I went up there. Okay. We gotta get this. And just smash through. And we should be right at the end, just about. Just about, maybe. Maybe here we go. And you gotta toss her up to the throne and you're done. You did it! Congrats! <laughs> Congrats. I'm trying to appeal to a hip audience there or something. Right, you can go on another stage, oh cool. Yeah, so we might very well spend the whole episode just doing these carry stages, but but they're actually kind of fun. Oh my god, I forgot to, <laughs> forgot to turn off my phone or turn off the sound on my phone. So I just got a text message, you probably heard that. Oh well, the fluff blue fabric. <laughs> the fluff blue fabric, what? Oh, what's this guy doing? Oh, one more favor? What? It would be so nice of you to expand Quilty Court to three floors, but I need more beads. Two oh, I thought I thought that said two hundred fifty thousand beads, and I'm like, what, dude? You out of your damn mind if you ask me for that much. Still, twenty five thousand beads isn't that much better. Yep. So we're gonna have to expand it to a third floor, and then obviously that's gonna unlock more mini games for us to play later on. All right, we got fountain gardens here. Jeez, are you just gonna make me do every single level? That'd be pretty crazy. You know, just once you get done with all these levels, they just go back and do them all again. Alright, oh, we're carrying her from right to left this time. How very, just, unnatural. Like in these, like, platform- Oh, we're carrying her up, actually. Wow. Oh, I guess that's not that unnatural. Yeah, but it's just so weird whenever there's a level in, like, a side-scrolling platformer like this. When there's just a level that goes right to left. Like, it's just- it just feels so weird. Dude, can you stay up there, please? You don't need to be bouncing around so much. 
Alright, oh yeah. We have this nice music to accommodate us in this level. That's kind of nice. Wait, how do I get up there? Oh wait, do I have to actually... Oh wait. The throne is like right up there. How do I get her up there then? Oh, I think I just screwed myself or something. Alright, so you get... Yeah, I think I know what I have to do now. Oh crap, I'm down to 10 seconds though, so I'm gonna have to do this again. Okay, so this is just another one of those, like, can you solve the puzzle mini-games. See if you can figure it out. Yeah, okay, time's up. Boo-hoo! I know what to do now, though. And it's not to toss her off there like Kirby, just dangling on the ledge there. You gotta find the angle of the dangle. Completely forget what video that's from. Okay. Let's do this right this time, please. Come on, Mr. Right. Mr. Phoenix Right. Okay, no, don't fall off. Okay. Good. That is very, very good of you. Now I just gotta maneuver Kirby himself into the next area. Great. Man, we're in, like the sewer area. It's just like the, one of those un underground areas in, in the Super Mario Brothers games. That's what it looked like practically, especially with those yellow beads down there. They look like coins. Okay, oh yeah, throw her up in there, dude. I don't actually know if you can miss that throne. I think it kind of just homes in a little bit. Like, obviously, if you're, if you're a little bit too far away, then yeah, you won't be able to... Oh, I have enough beads to expand the apartment building? I didn't even realize. How many beads do I have? I don't even know. I haven't been keeping track of that. Oh, what kind of... Ew. Whoa, actually, that's kind of cool for a minute. I was about to say, ew. The green tartan fabric. Yeah, my two favorite colors are, like, green and black. As you can probably tell by my background. Jeez, I have 42,000 beads. Look at that. Yeah, my favorite colors are green and black, and they just, like, blend so perfectly well together. Like, when you, like, make, like, a gradient effect with them, the spot where they blend, from where it transitions from, like, green to black, or black to green, or whatever, it's just, like, such a beautiful, just, phenomenon to look at. It's so cool. Alright. But whenever I do it, it reminds me of, like, Xbox or something, because it isn't, like, the Xbox that has, like... Like, there's, like, a black Xbox, and then, like, the power light is all green. Oh, so, it's that that's what it reminds me of. Alright, do I go down here? I don't think I do. No, there's just... It's just blocked off down there, totally. Oh, Minu! Stop it! You, you just fell asleep, and now you're just gonna go right back up? Or get right back up? You're so annoying sometimes, you little cat. You little cat bastard. Alright, so how am I going to get her up here? I'm not exactly sure. Oh, there's the throne right there. Dude, I'm gonna, am I going to fail this again? Am I just going to be, like, destined to fail each one of these carry stages one time? And then just, like, get it on the second try? Because that's what it seems like so far. That's kind of the pattern here. Jeez, man. Oh, at least I can pet my cat a little bit here. While I wait for this try again thing to go by. Oh, she got on my lap now. Okay. Oh, fun times with Argon and his cat. Yes. Lately, she's been having this really weird purr. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just like... I don't know. Sometimes she just has a weird purr right after she wakes up. I don't know. I just hope that she, there's nothing wrong with her. Because I've had two cats. I've lost two cats this year. I don't want to lose my third one. That would just be just devastating. Alright, so now I know how to do this, at least. You gotta toss her up there. Alright, part of me makes, you th makes me think that you can actually, like, toss her from where I was, where I tossed her, up to the throne itself. It looks like it practically made it there, but... I don't know. Anyways, there we go. You did it! Congrats! Does it, has it always said congrats? I swear it said congratulations before. I don't know, maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm just Cajun retarded or something, I don't know. Alright, well, I have those two clips to splice in at the beginning of this episode, so I think I'm going to have to end it off here. Um, ew, that's kind of a... That fa berry soda, yeah, I was about to say that reminded me of some kind of soda. That fabric. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to splice those two clips in at the beginning, so I think I'm just going to expand the building and give them the 25,000 beads for that. And then we'll just call it a day here. Call it a day on Argonaut Dominatrix. Actually, no, that's my other channel. 
Okay, here we go. Yes, I know. Hand over the 25,000 beads. Yes, do it. Do it now. Thank you ever so much. Now can I, now I can add another floor to the building. I'll get it on it right away. When he says right away, he's not kidding. There it is. Oh my god. Alright. So next time, I guess we'll just see if we have any furniture for any of those two rooms that we just made. And then we'll probably... I don't know. I think I'll probably take on the boss and then move back to carry stages. Because I know you guys just want to see the bosses. I taunted you with it at the end of the last episode. And now it's just like, oh, we didn't even get to do it this episode, so just whatever. Anyways, thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.